how to add Google Search Console to Shopify for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how you can add the Google Search Console to your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that you have to do is head on over to the Google Search Console. Over here, you're going to search for Start Now. And we're going to get started by setting up our Google Search Console. So there are two basic ways that you can do that. You can add a domain or you can add it to your URL prefix. If you have a pre-existing domain that you purchased, then you're going to go with the domain section. And then if you're using a free domain like we are, then you want to use a URL prefix because that usually is a URL prefix. If you take a look at the domain that you're using, you guys can see over here, like we have our domain over here. It's a number and it says myshopify.com. So that actually shows you that you're using a prefix, not an actual domain. This applies to any type of prefix that you have, even if it's not for Shopify. So you're going to copy your prefix over here and go to your Google Search Console. Once you do that, simply paste it in the URL prefix section. Now after that, click on continue over here and you can get started with setting up your verification. So you'll see that you have multiple different types of verifications. You have a HTML file, a HTML tag, a Google Analytics, Analytics section, a Google Tag Manager, and a domain name provider. Now, the recommended method is to connect your HTML file. So how can you do that? Well, you're just going to click on the download file button over here and it will download this file directly onto your particular device. Now, once you have downloaded this file, you can go back into your Shopify store. Once you're in your Shopify store, click on online store over here. And within your online store, you're gonna find a option for you to add your Google Analytics. So you will see over here, once you click on online store and click on preferences, if you scroll down slightly, you will see the option of Google Analytics. So you will have the Google Analytics for Google updated measurement platform, this and this. So you can copy your Google Analytics account over here as you guys can see over here like this. So this is our tracking code. Your homepage either must contain this and this snippet and you must edit so you can click on verify like this. And then you can add the Google Analytics or you can just go over here, click on manage pixel here. And this can be a direct way for you to add it. So you will see over here, Google and YouTube and you can click on add sales channel over here. And once you click on add sales channel, you're going to be headed to the next page. So this is going to be your Google and YouTube sales channel page. And you will see over here that you can get started with connecting Google Analytics. Now, this is probably one of the easiest methods to do simply because HTML files and tags can have errors if you're a beginner and you don't really know how to add them. So we're going to click on connecting our Google account. So we're going to click on connect and click on the account that you want to connect to your Shopify store. So the Google account that you're using or your Google search console. Now you're going to allow Google to be able to access your listings and more just click on allow over here and once you click on allow you can see that now we have a connect a google analytics property and it shows me my google analytics property that i have so i'm going to click on connect over here and once you've set up google analytics you can get started with actually using the google search console so in this way you can get started with building your shopify store and connect google search console and google analytics now you have emails from google you have particular types of analytics so you can disconnect this and click on create new over here and then you will see over here you have multiple different types of google analytics to use so you can connect this to a particular type of google analytics that you have or you can connect it to any pre-existing one that you have set up. Then click on get started over here. And then you can see your product listings, your Google account. You can add different types of online stores, refund policies, and more. Now you can also connect your merchant center account, your product feed, your conversion tracking, and other things in your Google search console as well. So if we go back to our search console, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go into Google 
Google Analytics over here to be able to see our connected door. So you guys can see these are just a few courses Google Analytics has, but you're just going to go on to accounts.google.com and log into your account that you're using to use Google Analytics or Google Search Console. And you guys can see over here that in the Search Console or Analytics, we have different types of things. So we have data streams, we have reports, exploring, advertising, and then a admin feature. Then over here, you're gonna find your users, event count, new users, conversions, and more. You'll also see your users per minute directly in your analytics. Then you can even go into the report section and manage your acquisitions, engagement, monetization, retention, and more. Now, after that, you have your explore button. And if you go into explore, you will actually be able to see multiple different types of reports that you can build. And this can be really customized for a particular idea, project, or newer launch. Now, if you want to access all of your Google settings, you can go into your homepage and go into your sales channel. And from here, you can go into to your Google and YouTube app. If you can't find your Google and YouTube app, simply click on settings on the bottom left and you can go into your apps and sales channel over here. Once you click on apps and sales channel, you're going to find Google and YouTube. So you can open this up and you can click on open in sales channels over here. This can be an easier way for you to be able to access your Google and YouTube tools. So after you have connected your Google search console to Shopify, you have a few other added benefits. Those include the fact that with Google, you also have YouTube integrated within. So you can go into your Google search console application or the Google and YouTube app that we just added. And in this plugin, you will also find different options where you have your Google analytics and in Google analytics, you can go ahead and take a look at your data streams and you can view exclusive reports for your particular setup or for your particular site or Shopify store. This includes lifecycle acquisition, engagements, monetization, retention, and more. Now, if you go back into the YouTube and Google plugin, you'll also be able to see to receive emails from Google. Then after you add your payment method and you create your online store, add your basic policies, then you'll also be able to set your target country and language as well as add shipping settings directly to the Google and YouTube plugin. This will help you in getting more data that is more essential for your business because if you're located in a particular country or you're targeting a particular country, then you only want that particular business. So that is something to keep in mind whenever you are using the Google search console. Now, to keep in mind a few other things, other than adding Google Search Console, if you want to make your website more global, you should definitely add a currency converter for it to be able to easily be molded to the particular customer that is viewing, so that customer can easily convert it to their own currency. There are some other videos on this channel on how you can make your Shopify store more easy and accessible to everyone, so check those videos out as well. Now, if you learned anything new in this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about Google Search Console, Shopify, or anything else, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and I will catch you guys in the next video. So make sure to share this video with a friend or someone that's building a Shopify store because we have a bunch of other stuff coming out on Shopify as well. So make sure to stay tuned. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or any queries about Shopify, Google Analytics, or any other tool that you're using to build your store, make sure to leave that in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and share this video with a friend or with someone that is building a Shopify store just to help them out as well. Also check out our other videos on how you can build different types of sales channels as well as some other tips and tricks on Shopify. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe.